بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مربی زدن علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین Composite Functions For this lecture, I am using the work of one of my best student, Ms. Sayyida Fiza Kaiser of class 2020, The Lyceum. An important advice for me and for everyone, we should be honest. These are some examples of composite functions fg, gf, f2, f3. For fg, replace the x of f by g. For gf, replace the x of g by f. For f2, write f2 in this way, ff, and then replace the x of this f by f. We write F3 in this way, in ascending powers, F1, F2. And then we replace the X of this F by F2. And this is the wrong way of writing F3. Don't write in descending powers. Always write this type of function in ascending powers. 1 and then 2. Well, this is F and this is G. For FG, replace the x of f by g this is the x of f and this has been replaced by function g for gf replace the x of g by f this is the x of g and it has been replaced by the function f f uh, sorry f2 f2 can be written in this way f f now replace the x of this f by f this is the x of f and it has been replaced by f and this is the simplified form of this function f2 f3 now for f3 replace the x of this f by f2 this is f2 and this is the simplified form of this function This is the reverse of the composite uh, f from fg. For that, replace the x, I mean replace this function g by x. So for f from fg, replace the function g by x. Here is the example of this. Uh, this is gx and this is fg. For f from fg, we will replace this g by x. And this is also function g. So it should be replaced by x. Therefore, this is the function f. sorry now the next topic is the domain of composite functions the domain of composite function fg is the domain of the function g because in fg f depends on g so always write the domain of g whenever you need the domain of fg if this is f and this is g for these domains therefore the domain of gf will be the domain of f because in gf g depends on f so this will be the domain of gf write the domain of this function here Well, this is uh, the function f for this domain and this is g for this domain and this uh, value is unknown. To get this value, 
I mean it's the question is find P for which FG has to be defined well the domain of FG will be the domain of G I mean this will be the domain of FG for FG to be defined we will use the domain of F we will use this domain to get the value of P why why do we use this domain because when we work for FG we replace the X of F by G so this is the function F uh, for this domain and for FG we will replace this X by G and this X by G as well so first write F and its domain as well I mean you know uh, when you need to work for FG you replace this X by G so replace this X by G also so the function G is X plus 3 by solving this inequality we will get this thing X less than equal to minus 2 when you will compare this with this domain you will get the value of P this is the way to get the value of this unknown constant so use the domain of this function the first function in composite from left side another example this is example 2 this is f of x and this is g of x and these are their domains find a <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> sorry find a for which gf can be defined well <coughs> for gf can be defined we will use the domain of g i mean first write this function here with its domain you know we find gf by replacing this x of g by f so replace this x by f as well as well so the function f is 3x plus 1 so by solving this inequality we have x less than equal to minus 2 upon 3 so by comparing this result with this inequality we can get the value of a the value of a is minus 2 upon 3 So all I mean whenever this value is unknown and for I mean this function is uh, def for this function to be defined use the domain of this function this one another example f of x is this uh, for this domain and gx uh, is defined for this domain find q <coughs> I'm sorry find Q for which FG is defined so I will use the domain of this function F so first write F here with its domain we find FG by replacing the X of F by G so replace this X uh, is also by G now you need to solve this inequality inequality when you will solve this in inequality you will get this result and according to uh, this result we have this sketch so this is the required region and this is also the required region so you will get these two answers according to this shading now you need to compare your answers with this inequality so by comparing this result with this result we have the value of q which is minus 2 <coughs> I'm sorry well this is all uh, I hope this lecture will help you all to understand the concepts of the domain of composite functions and composite functions as well. An important advice for me and for everyone, be fair. Allah Hafiz.